day and welcome back to the Project 200 video series. Today I'm going to show you one of the most common maintenance tasks on the 200, changing the engine oil and filter. Even if you normally have your 200 professionally serviced, there will be times when you might want to do your own oil and filter change, such as extra maintenance when operating in severe conditions or if you're travelling away from any mechanical workshops. An oil and filter change in the 200 is relatively straightforward. Although you do need a special oil filter removal tool, and you'll need to remove some cover plates to access the drain plug and filter. When it comes to choosing a filter, I strongly recommend either a genuine or a quality aftermarket filter such as a Ryko. Don't put a $30,000 engine at risk by installing some cheap no-name filter. In the case of oil, I'd suggest a quality semi-synthetic 5W40 grade, which will provide good cold start protection and soot control which are two major causes of engine wear. Now let's get started on the oil change. Begin the oil change by removing the bull bar stone tray if fitted. You can then move rearwards and remove the six bolts securing the right side metal bash plate. Then remove the plate. Continue moving rearwards and remove the small access panel in the bash plate to access the sump drain plug. Place a drain pan of at least 10 litres capacity under the drain plug, then remove the plug using a 14mm spanner. Allow the oil to drain out for at least 15 minutes to remove as much of the old oil as possible, then replace and tighten the sump plug. Moving back towards the front of the engine, you can then remove the filter housing drain cap using the 3 8 inch square drive. Wearing disposable gloves, you can then drain most of the oil from the filter housing by firmly pushing the plastic drain tube that came with the new filter up into the filter drain hole. While you're waiting for the oil to drain out, remove the metal locking clip from the sides of the filter cap using long nose pliers and put it somewhere safe for reuse. Once most of the oil is drained out, remove the drain tube, then fit the special oil filter removal tool to the filter cap and undo the cap using the tool combined with a 3 8 inch square drive or a 27mm socket. Do not attempt to remove the cap by hitting it around with a hammer or a screwdriver. You will crack the cap. Getting the right tool isn't expensive and you can find a link to the correct one on the Project 200 website. Once you've loosened the cap with the tool, you can remove it completely by hand, but watch out for the stream of oil as it unwinds. After disposing of the old filter element, remove the old O-rings and clean the filter cap, the perforated metal sleeve and the inside of the filter housing thoroughly with a rag. Apply a film of fresh oil to the new small O-ring, then fit it into the slot on the end of the filter cap, then refit the drain cap. Also apply some fresh oil to the new large O-ring and fit it into the filter cap in the correct slot as shown. You can then slip the new filter element over the perforated metal sleeve and into the cap. Note that it's absolutely vital that the metal sleeve is present in the filter cap. Without this sleeve, the filter element can collapse and cause catastrophic engine failure. You can then refit the filter cap assembly into the housing and tighten it using the filter tool. The correct tension is 25 newton meters. Then replace the locking clip. You can then refill the engine with fresh oil. Begin by adding about 9 litres. Check the dipstick and continue topping up until the oil reaches the full mark. Then start the engine and let it run for a couple of minutes before turning it back off and checking for oil leaks. After waiting a few minutes for the oil to drain back into the sump, check the dipstick again and top back up to the full mark. If there's no sign of oil leaks, you can then refit the sump plug access cover, the right side bash plate and the bull bar stone tray. I hope you found the oil and filter change video useful. There's more information on the Project 200 website, plus some links to ensure you get the correct oil and filter. See you next time.